Uh, so welcome back guys and um, this tutorial I just want to now we are I, I have not opened anything on my computer because I would like to show you how you can start making your own character so what I'm going to do is that um, I have this app here this is my character creator app when you install it from the Reorition hub where I showed you here so let me show you if you come and you just say like you uh, character creator 3 you just say that you want to install it it will you have an <coughs> icon like this one here on your computer so what you're going to do is that um i want to show you something so you can just click it and open it and if you have a trial version you we need to if for me like now i've already bought it so I am not using a trial version so when you have a trial version you are going to do the same thing and now you have to give the uh, uh, license key so that you can activate it when you buy it so but the process of installing it is just going to the website uh, downloading it and installing it I, have, I did a video to show you where you can get it and now when you are done now you can um, have this icon now we are opening it it might take like one minute to open and that's why i told you that you need a good computer because um for you to make good characters and 3d human realistic you also need uh, like a gaming computer where you can um be able to make those uh good characters so um everything now is doing is just loading and in few seconds i think it will be done now so that i can show you now so let's just give it time. So sometime when you have a, a file that you have not saved, you have a message where they ask you whether you want to recover this file or you want just to say so for me because I'm starting a new project and I don't I don't think that I need to start restoring those files. So I just had to cancel everything and just let it now. Sometime because it has to load so many, I'll show you all those things why it takes to a lot of time to start loading there are so many things inside the character creator and there are two kind of character creator before i go because one is pipeline let me just come here and show you so this is when you open it for the first time this is what you get you get a window like this one and it will tell you if you have the pipeline you it will tell you the other that you have the pipeline and you're going to get this sable here so uh, if you don't have the pipeline like let me show you something so i can just click this one and say cross and then i minimize that one and if i come to the reorution the difference between pipeline and the not pipeline is that when you download the cult creator you don't get the pipeline let me just go to the website and show you something So we have our character creator here. And if you buy it, I if you buy it, the character creator, you get a pipeline. But if you buy Icron, they can give you a character creator, which is not a pipeline. So whatever you buy here, if you buy only the software, you get a pipeline. This is so hard to explain, but uh, in pipeline, you can be able to export file like from DAS, or to the Z brush to Z brush, and also you can be able to export files from other software like Posa and bring them back. So by when it's not a pipeline, you cannot be able to do all those things, and you have so many limitations. So if you are going to buy it, I would ask, advise you just to buy the pipeline, which is good. So now when you upload it, like you can see, let me show you something. This one is what you get. This one is what's called Character Creator pipeline extension so you have also to have the two of them so when you get the character creator you also need to have the character creator a three pipeline extension 
So that's what we call the full software that you need to have. So when you have this one, so let me first of all click. So they are like, look, they are asking me like Carter Creator icons. Uh, um, uh, so I just say yes, I know, because I know there is that one. And now we have our character here. So I would like first of all to show you by starting to show you the file. On the file you have, you can have this one like open project, listen project that you save, save project, everything. Ex import a file. If you click import, you can be able to upload like all those type of file like FBX, avatar. The most one used is the OBJ and FBX and iAvatar. So the less of them, maybe when you want to upload them. So by exporting, let me show some. If you have to export, you can also export as an iAvatar. The iAvatar is the one that you are going to use in the iCron, which I'm going to show you. Uh, then you have to select it, whatever. So the one that I use most is OBJ. OBJ is a file where you can, it's just like a character, but mostly for the models, like if you have a building or a car that you want to do some design and whatever. And also you have the uh, FBX character. So the FBX, this character here, if I export it and I want to use it in an, like in unit or in a little engine, I can export it as an FBX. And now we have this one here, upload to the Sketchfab. If you want to save your character, you can sell them to a Sketchfab. And yeah, if whatever you make and you, ha you have the light because you bought the software. So nobody is going to complain that the character doesn't belong to you. So the other thing is that you have the GoZ. The GoZ is if you have the ZBrush, if you want to do some modification, like I can show you this one in another video how to do it, you can use the ZBrush and do it. So that is the first thing. So these are the same icon here, like export, save, everything that you see here. This one here, if you click it, you can be able to move your character on the side and left. This one, the mouse, when you want to select something, this one is the uh, this one is the rotation. If you want to start doing some rotation, so this one is the scale. If you the object you want to make it big or small, this one is zoom in, zoom out. This one is to move side. This one is also to rotate. And this one you can like if you want to see your character on the front, if you want to see it on the back, if you want to see it like on the uh, top, or you want to see it on the bottom. So that's why you can. So let's let's keep it back to the front where we want. So the other thing I like to do, if you have to do anything, like you have to make your character, just you use it high. You can either use it high or custom. Custom is the one like um, if your computer it doesn't have good graphic card or your computer is slow, you can use custom and you see this character is changing. It doesn't look so good. So for me, when I'm doing my character, I like to use it as uh, high. So the high is the best quality that you get. So let's wait for this one to finish. So now this one is the light. If you want to make your character light, which I don't use, if you have to, to have like poses, like you can, if you want to have the T pose, you want to have like this one here. You want to shake like sometime which the some of the women, you have all those poses. You can just click there instead of coming to shake on them. So let me just put this one back uh, to A so that we can be able, then you have the atmosphere. This is where you shade your uh, like the light on the direction and everything. And like if I click, so let, we have default. So if I click this one, you see like the light we have to appear on the one side. So you can, if you have to save this image, you can like you now you see the character is becoming more bright than the way it was. So you can also use like that one. So let me just bring it back to default. And then you have the camera here. You can choose which camera you want. So um, now you have also this on the move and you have the modification. The modification is this. So if you, sometime when you open, you might miss this one here. So if you want to put that modification button, you can replace. So I'll show you what you have on this modification button. On transform is when you make some character. They have, we have two types of character in the character creator. We have the 
Kata Creator CC3 and Kata Creator CC3 Plus. This is the new one that they look more human realistic and they look good. Like you can use Kata Creator, yeah. Three is also good, but also this one is good. So I'll show you why. So on this table here, this is why I call my content table. Like this table here, so many things they are not here. Those things you can just move them or you can just leave. I like to put them back there. So you have to come and put it them back there so you can move them. So on the smart gallery, it's where you you get your own items like the item that you buy and everything. They always appear here on the smart gallery. So I will show you this one, how to get the smart gallery. And this is the one that I showed you. If you install, you have also to install the smart gallery. This one is free, you get it for free. And when you want to buy like something from the early illusion market, you just don't need to go. You can just come here and get all those stuffs here. Sometime when you download something, they also appear on the smart gallery. So I'm just going to show you this one this in a separate video. Then you have the content. So let me just put this on back. On the content is where like you have this one, you have some characters. Like if I click this one, I can have some different character. I can change my character to become a man. So this one, it will ask me to apply them off and whatever. So I'll show you this one also in another video. Then you have scene. On this scene, it will show you like what, like if I click this one, you see this one is a bra. If you want to hide it, like you can hide it. Or you can see it. You can lock it, you can change the, no, the, the mesh. You can also do some modification. And then you have your character when you select them, you can hide your character or you can make your character visible. So on this also, you have some lights here, like you can make your light appear or hide them. You also have the sky. You can make the sky appear or hide. And then you have the camera. So the camera that we're using right now is a preview camera. So most of the thing you just find them on the scene. Now I have this one headshot. This one you get it as a plugin. You have to buy it. So if you come here, let me show you some. You have this headshot here. Um, let me show you something. So uh, um, I wanted to, to go to the detail and then I'll show you the, the headshot. I think that one is not the light one. Let me just cross. Product, let me see. Icon character creator, you have the headshot plugin. This is a plugin that you need to buy it. And this is the plugin that I'm going to show you how you can also use it. It's a very good plugin that makes your work easier. Sometimes you don't have to have the same. So the plugin, you can buy it at $149. And when you buy it, you can be able to use it like you, I'll show so many plugins that you need to have them when you're using the icon. So this plugin you have to get it. So when I buy it, I just put it there. Then you have the radar. Here you can preview. If you just want to save this one like an image, like you can click here. And you want to save this one like an image, you can save it and then use it on your project. So um, now we have like, let me show some, you have the visual, this one you can just come and change the color and whatever. And then we have the project. This will show you everything about the project. So those one I don't use too much. The one that I use too much is this one here, where you have like you can change like the normal skin, full skin. You can like put some hairs and whatever. And you also have this plugin they call the skin gen. If you have the Kata Creator 3, you have the skin gen included. Then you have the makeup things that you want to share. This one I'm going to show you. And then you have the clothes like we can come here and say like we want the full dress and we have this full dress here so I can take one of this one here like that one there and I put on her you see how simple is that you just need to double click and when you double click then you can have it there so like maybe maybe I can just decide to put her um something like uh here let me just go back here and then I say I want here and if I scroll down, I have different kind of here. So maybe I can decide to select that one there. And this one will be loaded and now we can have a character with hair and everything. So uh, on this video, 
I'm just going to show you that one. And on the next video now, we are going now to start going deep on how to use this software. Good. And this is how it will look like. So we can just come here and maybe take a pose, like a female pose, like this one. And maybe I can just put it like this one. And if I want to save this photo, I can just click there. I do say that I want to edit it and then I just save this photo. And then I'll say this one is character creator tutorial. Because I'm going to use this photo on your project. So that is how now this is, I want to edit this video here on the next video now we will start looking for everything at one video. I'm not going to combine everything. I'm just going to go step by step. So thank you for watching this video and bye for now.